everybody, my name is Lisset Lagunes. Welcome back to my week 7 presentation um, where I will be discussing the outline for my final paper. Let's get started. The entity that I will be focusing on will be the City of Marietta's um, Community Services and Recreation Department. The Code of Ethics for the entity um, is divided into three part, um, a few parts. It is divided into integrity and honesty, accountability, responsibility, respect, and fairness which are topics that I will be covering in my paper. Compliance and value-based training um, are important in the community services um, department because the compliance-based code of ethics reflects the agency's ethical beliefs. Um, that ensures a positive outlook for the department. And the value-based code of ethics in the community services is ultimately a direct reflection of each public servant and they uphold individual sense of ethical and moral righteousness. Within my paper, I will be focusing on four compliance topics. They will be anti-harassment, whistleblowing, abuse of authority, and misuse of funding. Um, I will be talking about these um, four topics because they are the most important to the um, community services and recreation department. And they are the ones that we get most training Four, and that is about every six months we either do it um, computer-based or in person through um, city hall and that is why i will be covering those four topics in my paper it is important to understand that um, the entity is a value-based organization um, and that is why even though both value-based and um ethics are essential part of training for the community services and recreation department they mostly focus on ethics and value-based and it is important for the public um, administrators ethical beliefs to align with the entity's um, beliefs as well within the entity there are a few theoretical frameworks that are put to use um, such as utilitarianism, which mostly focuses on action and um, being taking action for the greater good. And that is what the Code of Ethics also focuses on for the city of Marietta and simply um, accountability, taking responsibility for what you have done and not paying much attention to your intention, but the end result. There is also um, a use of contractarianism, and it's by working for the department, you are agreeing to follow the rules they have set and those that they may not have set, but you know that you have an ethical responsibility for, so you agree to that social contract within this, the entity. So that is also used. The other one would be um, natural law, and that would be just the personal morale that you uphold um, when working for the entity. And the last would be um, categorical imperative because you are leading by example. You are leading a community service and you want to make sure that you are held to the highest standards so that everybody looks up to you. You want to be a leader and a professional at all times. So this is just a um, a brief outline of what my paper will be do will be covering and although it will be a bit more put together these are just some of the important topics that i will be covering if you have any questions or any suggestions let me know thank you